I didn't think I played a whole lot of Sonic games until I started listing how many I've actually played. I think it's because none of them have left heavy impressions on me, but Sonic Mania has left the biggest impression on me. Here's how I rank my favorite Sonic games, and I've seen so many varying rankings of these games, I'm not really concerned on where I put any of these. I think Sonic Mania isn't just an amazing Sonic game, but it's an amazing platformer as well, with great music, level design, graphics, and replayability. I don't need to speak for the music, I'll just let it speak for itself, and then continue to use it as background music for the video. The levels are expansive and diverse, both horizontally and vertically, with several different potential routes and secrets, and while that is just a Sonic game, I think Mania does it better than any other Sonic game. And this is just a recurring thing that's happened with me in Sonic games, where like I don't like one part, say like any water segment, and I can just find a route that goes around it, for the most part. I always appreciate this. Level mechanics are also great. There are just enough new mechanics coming at you one after another that it keeps things fun and fresh through the 12 zones and each act feels unlike another. The mechanics are also intermixed with the themes of the levels. As I've said previously, I'm not a game designer so I don't really know how I critically articulate my thoughts on why the level design is so successful, so I want to point you all in the direction of Mark Brown's video about the level design in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which I feel is pretty relevant to why the design in Mania is so successful. The graphics are phenomenal, the aesthetics of the levels are breathtaking, and this is the prettiest snow level I have ever seen in a game. The new worlds are refreshing to see in a Sonic game, with the new sprite details are so nice and the number of unique Robotnik robots is great. Not even just recolors, but they have personalities. And they're a great example of how everything in the game, visually and animation-wise, is full of personality. And especially with the number of levels, especially with how different things are between not just uh, zones but acts, keeps everything refreshing. Multiplayer and time trials are what give the game replayability. I think the Switch version is the best version because this is totally the kind of game where you can just bring with you anywhere, hand a Joy-Con to a friend and play with. And because of how expansive levels are and how many different routes there are, you and your friend could be taking two radically different routes in a level and see where you both end up at. And I normally wouldn't chalk up time trials as being something you can say gives a game replayability, unless that's your thing. But Sonic is a different case because of how levels are pretty much big labyrinths that you can discover faster routes in and the possibilities are endless. There are also extra modes you unlock that you get from beating the blue ball challenges which also give some replayability, but I don't want to spoil them. Now after all that, it's time to talk about my one gripe, and that is unfair deaths. Although these are very few and far between, the game has some challenge but it isn't a hard platformer. But I really don't like instant death from collision. And it's not an issue in one level, but in multiple levels, it's a consistent thing. And sometimes it didn't even feel intentional and a select few boss fights also feel wonky or like a mess. If that statement says that I am bad at the game, well, there you go. On the flip side, there are a ton of bosses in the game, and a majority of them are fun and fresh, and there's especially one boss fight that I really loved. You seriously should avoid spoilers on Chemical Plant Zone's boss at all costs, until you can play the game yourself. While I feel that deaths can be rarely unfair, I still feel that this is the most fun I've had in a Sonic game, and I really recommend picking this game up too. It is only 20 bucks and it is on my constantly growing list of fantastic games for 2017. 